The wind has begun to blow. Ah, the flagpole. Hmm? What's the matter, Han Dong? Nothing. Well, the flagpole just broke in the wind. It doesn't seem like a good omen. <laughs> You're surprisingly sensitive. Quite unlike the side of yourself you show in battle. There's no need to worry. The wind can blow as fast as it likes. All we have to do is run through the enemy even faster. Right, brother? That's right. We shall become the gale that shreds Liu Biao. It'll be fine. You can count on my father and my brothers. Yes. Well, if you all say so. We do. I'm expecting big things from you too, Hot Dog. Ah! Now, Tigers of Suit, show the enemy your terrible claws! Lord Huan Zhu! No! I knew it! The wind today! No! Father, you can't die! You'll be fine, my dear. You don't need me around anymore. My son. You must now lead the house of Sun. Wait, father! We aren't ready yet! The future belongs to the young. My children. Make... Make it your own. Today. No! Father, you can't die! Uh, don't kill me off so quickly. Father! <gasps> I can't believe this thing saved my life. The Imperial Seal you found at Loy Young? Still, I got carried away and let my guard down. Perhaps. I am getting old. Here! <sighs> Soon Jian died here this day. You must now lead the house of Soon. Wait, what are you talking about? The future belongs to the young. Run freely and make it your own. You 
done it, my lord. Hmm? Master Liu Yao, my apologies. As a warrior, and as a man, I wish to live a just and true life. So, from this day, my life is yours, Master Sun Tzu. <laughs> Thank you, Tai Shi Tzu. Look, my lord. This is your land. And these are your men. Yes. I finally feel it. I stand as the head of the House of Sun. Everyone! The land is in turmoil. To be honest, I've no idea what'll happen next. But, with your help, I'm going to do everything I can to make it right! Let's go! The House of Wu stands proudly in Jiangdong, and we are its people! Yeah! yeah! Got away. No meat for us tonight, Joe Yu. Huh? Joe Yu? Hey, Chuan! Joe Tai! Where have they gone to? Soon, sir. Huh? You have taken Wu Jun. And call yourself the Little Conqueror? Shu Gong? And... Who are you? Look back on the path you have walked. One twisted by power. The cries of hatred and flames of anger shall now become a vortex. Suck down into it. You shall meet your end here. Hey, what are you talking about? Gong's men? Mother! Forgive us. We got held up by some sort of sorcery. Yeah, same thing happened to me. I'm not sure what's going on, but for now, we just need to get out of here. <sighs> you plan on killing me, do you? Very well, but I'll take you with me! <laughs> you will walk the path of the Conqueror, and clash with Lord Cao Cao. Don't you see? 
The more men of your caliber step forward, the worse this chaos will become. Shut your mouth! <sighs> All I have to do is defeat them all! You fool. Ganji, I leave the rest to you. Very well. Your revulsion for this time of war is perfectly clear to me. Dogs of Chaos! Okay, we made it out of there somehow. Still, I can't believe that Shu Gong was in league with Cao Cao. He claimed our lord was walking the path of a conqueror. Ridiculous. Trying to sell out my brother, and even hiring some pathetic conjurer of tricks. It was Ganji, wasn't it? <coughs> Sun Tzu! I wouldn't call them tricks, exactly. Chuan! Father entrusted our family's legacy to me. Now, it's my turn to entrust it to you. What are you talking about, brother? It's all yours now. so far, just to keep your little conqueror alive? Such power will only spread further conflict, eventually sundering the very- Silence! Enough of your mad ravings. We need my brother. <clears throat> you arrogant fools, content to spread further chaos. <laughs> What? Another trick? Maybe. But the evil presence I sensed from him has dissipated. I see. So his very existence was a curse. And now that he is gone, Sun Tzu is likely saved. Come everyone, let us return to him. Sorry, Dachiao. I guess I scared you. You really did! I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Brother, now you can lead us into battle once more. I don't think so. I'm still too weak. And didn't I already give my speech about handing things over to you? But brother! Sorry. Let me get some more sleep. <laughs> Zhou Yu, take care of Chuan for me. <laughs> Looks like we have no choice. Now, we can only hope things go as planned. But do you trust them, Lusu? Yes. Although, Zhuge Liang is an impossible man to read entirely. Then I shall believe also in you and in your faith in Liu Bei. Still, to wait for the wind to turn, then attack with fire from the water. A bold gamble indeed. 
you two! Uh -huh. Has the War Council finished already? You were conferring with the forces of Liu Bei, right? Correct. Although, they only sent their strategist, Zhuge Liang. Oh, really? I was looking forward to finding out what kind of man Liu Bei is. This completes our capture of Yi Ling. Now we can... Uh, 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 My lord! Uh, you swine! Uh, uh, remain calm, Lu Meng. A good commander can turn any situation to his advantage. I myself shall be the bait. When they come for me, strike back. Very well. Leave it to us. My lord. Yes. We must make haste. I have been vested. Commander, your strategies were magnificent. It is finished, my lord. Yes. Now all of Jing Province is... My lord! <laughs> Xiang Yang has been taken by Guan Yu of Liu Bei's forces. What? Uh, my, my lord! lord. My wound led me to panic. And I lost sight of the bigger picture. History shall remember this mistake. Lu Su, you understand the framework of my plan to divide the land in two? I do. Then, you must complete it. Uh, uh, what do you uh, mean? Uh, now I know how Sun Tzu felt. Uh, 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 who knew that having someone to entrust things to uh, would feel quite so good? Uh, Lead Wu to victory. Uh, uh, my, my lord! lord! You have fought with courage and wisdom. But Jing province has been entrusted to my care. I cannot back down. <laughs> Regardless of the intent of Master Liu Bei? I have discretion in such matters. Very well. Further fighting between us will benefit only Cao Cao. I must have you vow two things, however. First, that you will respect the alliance between Wu and Shu. Second, that you will use the land of Jing province to oppose Cao Cao. 
Mm. Very well. I swear on my honor. Good. Then let us both withdraw our troops from this battle. Master Lu Su, you surely could have killed Guan Yu. Why didn't you finish him? <laughs> Face down that monster? Do you wish me dead, Lu Meng? Uh, of course not. Come, we have preparations to make. It can't be long before Cao Cao starts moving again. Lu Meng. Yes. Your instinct to kill Guan Yu was not necessarily wrong. But you also need to learn to pull back when necessary and manipulate your enemies. You are too guileless. I see. Although your honesty has made you who you are. Learn all you can every day. Support the future of Wu. Yes. Surpass me. And even one day, Master Zhou Yu. Master Lu Su, I fear your meaning. My lord, are you sure about this? I know we are in an alliance, but this attack on Hefei... ...is entirely to their benefit, I know. They probably have their sights set on Han Zhong. It does not matter. If we must include Liu Bei in order to destabilize Cao Cao, then so be it. I see. Give and take, as they say. Though, I must admit, I don't like the fact that we are doing the giving first. <laughs> Just so long as we can call in the favor later. Ha! Who cares about the details? Just point me at the fighting and let me charge into the fray. Ha! You hothead. How about trying to use that brain of yours for once? Actually, Gan Ning makes a good point. The enemy defense is being led by Zhang Liao himself. Both determination and focus will be required to win. Hmm. True enough. It will take the full might of Wu to achieve victory. If you gentlemen are so determined to show your strength, then please allow Lu Su and I to display our intellect. Ah, Master Zhou Yu. Are you feeling better? Yes, thanks for your concern. We have compiled a detailed analysis of the enemy formations and terrain. Gan Ning, Ling Tong, listen carefully. Just charging in will get you nowhere. Hey, don't lump me in with him. <laughs> Come, this is it. We must show the world the courage and brilliance of the men of Wu. How could this have happened? I'll tell you how, shall I? We fight for more than just ourselves. My father, my brother, they led us here. And we must strive to surpass them. Three generations of Wu wisdom and courage gathered under you.
then I must simply seek to overcome that too. For now, I praise your brilliance. Hey! You can't get away! Leave him! <clears throat> this battle is over. We will face him again soon enough. A most impressive victory, my lord. Yes, Zhou Yu. You are the one who led us to it. My father and brother have returned to us too. I don't think I have ever felt quite so happy in battle. Wait. Was my brother not with you? I'm sure he will be here soon. But, my lord... This victory belongs not to your brother. Or to your father. But to you. Everyone is waiting to hear you speak. My comrades! You have fought well. Let out a shout of victory. This day belongs to Wu. <laughs> My lord. <clears throat> Thank goodness you're safe. Mm. All thanks to you. I'm glad to see you all here. I can't believe it! They were all over us! Well, if a certain someone had acted with a little more intelligence... What? I just wish we had a second chance. I know we're all capable of better. Calm down, both of you. We may have been defeated today, but the conflict continues. You have survived to fight another day. If you behave like this, those who have fallen today will find no peace. Yes. Lu Meng is right. We have come this far at the cost of many of our comrades' lives. We cannot ignore that fact. We must move on. And we must become stronger still. Taking the dreams of the Fallen with us, we shall prevail against this chaos! Idiot! What? Shut up! You're the one making the noise! Those bells! This is a surprise attack! In case you've forgotten... It's every little thing with you, isn't it? And you don't worry about anything! Why am I stuck with you? Yeah. <gasps> Good enough! Both of you! This is our chance for revenge for Hufei! It's no time to be bickering like children! Calm down! I'm not the one who needs to calm down here. Uh, actually, your voice is a little loud. Yes, yes. Attack! Enemy attack! Uh, here you go. <clears throat> We've been spotted. <sighs> All right. We're close enough now. Come on, both of you. Oh, yeah! Fight time! Uh, here we go again, every time. Prepare yourself! <laughs> Zhang Liao, wasn't it? Nice to see you again. You... God damn What are you doing? I can handle him alone. You reckon? It's not in my nature to leave a friend in trouble, though. A friend? Yeah, friend. Everyone who fights on the same side should be friends. Everything's so simple for you. I 
kind of like that. Good. That ought to put them on the defensive for a while. We have avenged our loss at Hufei, and lived up to our part of the Alliance. It's all going pretty well, I'd say. Yes. You fought very well. <laughs> that wasn't half enough for me. <laughs> Come on. Let's go attack Hufei again, right now! Really? Do you ever just stop and listen to yourself? What? What I'm saying is we've done enough for now. Besides, what's the point in victory if you don't take time to celebrate it? Huh. Well... You make a good point. Okay, then I'll ask our lord for some of the best wine we have. Of course, you were planning on including me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's head back. My lord, is this the way things should be? The division of the land was intended to defeat Cao Cao, but now we plot with him to take Jing province. In truth, <laughs> there are no longer only two powers. There is a third. I fear that both Wei and ourselves are falling into the plans of Juga Liang. You might be right. Jing province is a key region, and the wedge they have driven into it is the god of war, Guan Yu himself. Yes. So long as he is in place, this chaos will never end. This will no doubt be seen as a betrayal, but we cannot allow a worthless alliance to suck us dry. But my lord, what about the princess? Our Lord has made his decision. For the future of Wu, we need worry only about the task that lies before us. Ha! Come! We must defeat the God of War and take Jing Province. Curse you! You would break the alliance between us? You would dare speak such words? Our lord, Master Lu Su, all of us wanted to believe in Liu Bei. You trampled that desire right here in Jing province. <coughs> My lord! <coughs> All I did was to realize the vision of my sworn brother, Liu Bei. I am sure it was. And for the sake of Wu, we have defeated you! The courage Intellect and determination of Wu have overcome my honor. So be it. My brother, forgive me. I go on ahead of you.
with this, the foundation of Wu shall become even stronger. <coughs> My lord, why did you push yourself so hard? I thought I should be the one to do the dirty work. I leave the rest in your capable hands. You must negotiate this new world of three powers. No, my lord. There's still so much I must learn from you. Guan Yu and the murder of Zhang Fei, I have kept on fighting. If I may now be with my brothers again, I wish for nothing else. <laughs> Shang Xiong. I won't let you kill him. Not even by your hand, brother. <sighs> you would level your weapon at your own flesh and blood? The land I seek to create does not lie beyond such sad carnage. <sighs> Liu Bei, what is this benevolence of which you speak? What land do you seek to create? <sighs> I wish to bring peace and happiness to the people. Ah. I see now, of course, that I had turned my back on those ideals. And yet you still hold them dear. Then Shu must surrender to Wu. In the land I seek to create, there will be a place for your benevolence. <laughs> this battle is a victory for Wu. Only way remains. We shall pit our metal against their path of conquest. Forces of Wei are on the move. Hmm. Yes, I see them. Cao Pi, he's calling us out to settle this. That is a castle built for war. Thick, tall, heavy walls. Traps and trickery surely await within. Hmm. The fighting will be even fiercer than at Hefei. The spies I sent to Xu Chang report that reinforcements from there have been dispatched here. So we must cut them off as well as take the castle. 
correct. We face a critical lack of numbers, too. Each man must act the worth of two, three, four others, if we are to have any hope of victory. Then we have no problem. Each of our officers is worth a thousand of the enemy. Comrades, you may consider this the final battle. Defeat the pillaging way and take the land for Wu. Thanks, Tiger. I'll give you that. That name is well earned. I'm glad you think so. I am the heir of the Tigers. I shall rip you to pieces and seize this land. Hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself. You can have this castle in Hefei with it. But, this is only the beginning. What? <laughs> They've still got this many men? Retreat. What? Uh, yes, of course. If those are your orders. Continue your struggle and continue to count your wounded. If you still want me... Come, bold tiger. Fight me at the end of this chaos. <clears throat> Wei remains so very strong. Strong enough to just cast this whole castle aside. However, the tiger shall not falter. Not so long as his mighty intent burns true. We continue the fight. Continue until ambition and chaos lie defeated. strike while the iron is hot, but we've taken our own losses, too. That's not like you, my lord. I thought seizing the momentum was your specialty. Besides, we may never get another chance like this. Chance? I see. If we move the battle lines up from Buffet, we can bring Shochu under our command. That will give Jianye further protection, and at the same time, open the way to Shu Chong. Yes, Wei is also surely aware of this. If we pause for breath now, it will strengthen the defenses of Shu Chun. Is that so? Then there's only one thing left to do. Yes, we can't let Chuan shoulder everything. Come, let our fangs tear open a path for the young tiger. Yes, father, I'm with you. Ha! 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 Magnificent! Father! Brother! There you are. We were just finishing up. You broke through the enemy defenses? With no more men than this? I knew it. 
You should be the one leading Wu. I give everything back to you. <sighs> what are you talking about? It's only thanks to you that we've made it this far. But... But... Now, Wu is united under your grand ideals. All we can do is support you and help however we can. Brother, please. Father, can't you convince him? <laughs> I left everything to him, remember? I can't get involved again now. <sighs> Father. Like I said, it's all yours. Go and get them, Tran. Hmm. Go forth, my son. A new era is waiting for you to seize it. Very well. You have entrusted Wu to me, and I will not let you down. I'm sorry. Could you try explaining that again? I'm not sure I follow what's going on. Huh. You're still keeping up the act, huh? Our Lord's wife has returned to Wu. She has betrayed our brother and plans on fighting us. The princess? No, never. It was in a letter from our strategist. We've been told to strike first. A letter from Juga Liang? No, there must be some mistake. My lords, I'm afraid this is all part of a plot by a third party. Surely not. Who could it be? The enemy! The enemy is attacking! We're under attack too! What? So whose enemy are they? Both of ours, I fear. Brother! Oh, there you are. My apologies, my lord. I was told of the enemy's plot and rode hard to stop my sworn brothers. I'm impressed that you came yourself. Indeed. It is most like you. My lord, I appreciate the indelicate timing, but would it be possible to maintain our alliance a while longer? Yes. That sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> Their plans to divide us prove that we are a threat. If we further our collaboration, we shall place even greater pressure on Wei. <laughs> That's right! All we have done until now is take. From now on, we would like to do more to help. Yes. <laughs> what is it, my lady? I was just thinking how nice it would be if we could get along like this all the time. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I told you we were right to lie in wait for you. 
My sons still have some growing up to do. As does my husband. One person is only capable of so much. And if we take care of this here, that's one less thing to worry about. Oh, you're such a smart little thing. Please do not forsake my imbecile son. Your son is not as hopeless as you say. I think, at least. <laughs> so polite. Come now, let's take care of this ourselves. Yes. Imbeciles of Wu! How could I be outdone by such mediocrity? <laughs> You'd leave a better impression if you fled without the howling. Shall we give pursuit? No. The reinforcements will be here soon. We should muster our forces here. Excellent work, Lu Su. Oh. My lord. It is all thanks to their brave efforts. They have watched you, and learned, and are now ready to lead themselves. If that is how you want to look at it, then I have come this far by following in your footsteps, my lord. Ha! Huh. I am happy to hear that. Ambition lives on, from one generation to the next. To rule it all. How many men have dared dream that dream? Amid this chaos. Nobles. Heroes. Villains. So many consumed whole by their own ambition and greed. Liu Bei did not suffer the same fate. Yes. All he wants is for everyone to live happy, peaceful lives. <laughs> is that right? What about Cao Cao, then? He is also more than just ambition and greed. He still stands before us, after all. And finally... Chuan? Where does your intent lie? Me? My brother. My father. My sister. And all my people have brought me here. I'm sure that all the support I have received will be reflected in the land I choose to shape. Sounds good. I know you can do it, brother. <laughs> Let's go. With this battle, the turmoil shall finally end. Cao Cao, will you join us and form an alliance of peace? Liu Bei, yourself, and me. I believe a land supported by the three of us could still work. Impossible. My path is one of conquest. My ideal is absolute power and control. If we join hands, the land will be unstable. There is no true peace there. You will not change your mind? You will not lend your strength to my cause? I am a man. 
I shall live and die walking my own path. Go, Tiger of Jiangdong. You are the victor in this war. Cao Cao, a man who also sought a land of peace, just in a different way for me. At the very least, I must remember his dream as I build a new world. <laughs> 